everybody. How's it going? This is Adawa from my gaming addiction. I know it's been a while since I made a video. Probably not since November, something like that. So, wow. Three, four months. It's been a long time. Today I want to make a short little video for you here. Um, just have a little holiday right now and can get away from work. I'm going to show you how to make a no electricity pressure pad trick right here. So it's uh, hiding a pressure pad and there's no electricity involved in, in terms of like, you know, solar electricity or batteries. And um, yeah, I'm going to show you how to make it. So let's start off first of all with this very simple example right here. So we've got three triangle pieces and you can see if they walk up here, that opens up and of course you can, you can hide it. So I'll show you how to make that simple one right now. So let's get three All right, so we're gonna put a door right here facing, um, like opening inwards, just like this. And you're gonna to wanna to put a door controller. If the door is unlocked, you'll be able to pair it. And then you can lock it afterwards. All right, the next piece here is to put in our pressure pad. Let's put our pressure pad not on the other foundation. So the brown part of the sheet metal or for example, before that rectangle on the stone, you're gonna place it, just touching it a little bit. And that way, when we place our roof piece, we can get it blue if you just find the right position. Now, people are gonna trigger that, but they're not going to uh, be able to destroy it easily with a rocket. See? So, um, let's heal the world, and here we go. So, let's close that up. But before we do anything else, I guess we got to connect it, don't we? So grab your electrical cable, power out, and let's bring it over. Keep your cable hidden. And we'll go right up here. There we go. And that's how you make it. So for your shotgun traps, you're going to want to put them on a really sharp angle. Um, sorry, I had to reinstall my server, so I got some plug-in problems here. Goodness gracious. Okay, so for your shotgun traps, uh, you could put it down here. Yeah, but I think better is on an upwards angle like this. And you can easily stack two of them just um, right next to each other. They're not going to damage each other and they're going to damage the enemy. So, so um, yeah, upward angle on on this wall right here works best okay and the reason for that is that well I can show you um, on this next next example so uh, let's do this one right here um, actually I'll show you the other side of the space with a single square entrance so on the single square part here um, we're gonna hide the pressure pad there let's put a triangle here and we'll just do a single side here I put our door controller, pair it, and our pressure pad. You can place it from this side, but make sure it's only on the other foundation. Okay, and then connect that. Power in, power out. I'm just doing things quickly here. All right, so that's going to trigger, um, and you can close that off if you get up high here place your triangular roof all right so if you do put the shotgun traps down lower so for example right here um, you might think this is a really nice angle let's put that in there if if you do uh, the problem is that people can run up this thing pretty quickly right so if they get halfway up that's only going to be hitting their feet Right. Okay, so to get maximum damage, you're basically going to want to hit their torso. So let's place this not even on the ceiling, because again, that's just going to hit their feet um, as they walk up. Get it on that really sharp angle like this. And if you wanted to, you could even have it face um, towards the outside of your base, right? Towards the entrance. So from... Um, I got to work out some plug-in problems here, but since this is down low, you know, you might 
want to play some of these guys right here. Although it might be poking through the door. Not really. Um, we'll see, right? So if, if somebody dies and then they come along with their friend to collect their body to check out what happened, maybe that second friend's going to get killed too, just for fun. Okay, so um, the other idea is you want to force them up that ramp, right? You don't want them to just, like, if they know about it, they can just jump over it, okay? But um, if you have, for example, two squares, you could just walk up the middle, right? No problem. No problem. But if you want to actually trigger that pressure pad, you can have two right there. And you can force people either by, well, you could put walls right here. Right? You could do that. That's one option. Okay. So maybe less awkward looking. It's just a wall frame right here. Right? Just like that. And that's going to make them choose left or right. You can hear it. All right. So that's the video. Thanks for watching. And yeah, I'll try posting more often. <laughs> Take care, guys. Bye.